Okay, guys, in this series of videos, we're going to talk about Kazuri Kezugatami. Um, I think this is a fantastic controlling and attacking position. And it's actually, I much, much prefer it to like a traditional scarf hold position because it gives me greater control and it takes away a lot of the dangers of that, that kind of head and arm position. Okay, one of the issues that you find with the, with the like kind of traditional position, if I'm, if I'm working uh, here with Dean, let's say I start to wrap him up and I start to drag Dean down to the ground, as we go down, is he can either roll me over pretty easily because I don't have control on the far side, or he can start to duck his head out and then come up to my back and start taking my back from there. Okay, these are both not great things for me to have happen. I'm always about like, how can I control the position? And if I'm on top, how can I stay on top? So the way that we deal with this, with Kazuri Kezugatami, I'm gonna go for, rather than a head and an arm wrap position here, we're gonna go for this underhook on the other side. Okay, now what this allows me to do is control both sides of Dean's body. Okay, and really, for Dean to escape or turn or do any of the things that he wants to do, he needs to be able to pull his elbows underneath his body. And if he can't do that, he's not gonna be able to escape. Okay, so as we talked about with like, if I'm, if I'm here in this position, for Dean to come up towards my back, he needs to see how his elbow slips through that hole. If I control this, Dean tries to come up towards my back, he can't do that. Okay, and it's the same with uh, like, the, the, the other on the other side here, which another common escape is like the bridging over and rolling over in this direction. If Dean wants to go over there, I control this elbow. If Dean tries to roll over now, roll for me, Dean. Come on, all the way over the top. There you go, keep rolling. As long as I maintain control of this elbow, he can't escape from that position. So always, if I find myself in like a traditional Kezugatami position, I'm gonna look to figure out how to upgrade it to the open scarf hold, okay? I'll show you how I do that really, really typically. The first thing is, we'll talk about positional controls in just a second, but if I find myself in this position, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down his underhook, okay? For Dean to throw my weight forwards, he needs that arm to be able to kind of bridge and push in towards my back over here, right? And that needs to be high. So if I find myself here, the first thing I do is this. Now if Dean tries to throw me over, he can't lift up his arm. Spin around a little bit more for me. So again, if I'm here, his arm is, yeah, he can really throw that over the back, do all kinds of things. If I shift it to here, now if he tries to throw, it's a lot more shut down. And all I'm trying to do is like latch on and block his elbow so that he can't, um, uh, can't lift it up and get out from there and he can't break my grip. So I'm like grabbing onto the back of his gi here was absolutely fine. I just need something that gives me a little bit of an attachment, okay? The next thing that I'm gonna start to do is I'm gonna start to bring up into a more traditional side control, okay? Or at this point, because Dean feels like he's a little bit freer with that arm, he'll often just pull it through anyway. He'll pull it back here in this direction and then I can latch back into the position. If he doesn't, then I can start bringing myself up, re-pummel that arm inside and then switch my hips back over to this situation. Okay, so again, our two options, we're here, traditional kind of scarf hole position. First thing is I'm gonna shut that down so Dean can't, can't get his elbow out, okay? If he manages to pull it through, boom, I can just cut back and we're back in our position. Or if he doesn't, I step this leg over first, keeping control of this elbow, like into a traditional kind of side control position, pummel my arm underneath, and then I can switch myself back and be in our Kazuri Kezugatami. In terms of the controls that I'm looking at, we've kind of talked about the elbows a little bit, but when I enter into it, I need to be thinking about how I can maintain like a, an active position with my feet, okay? If I just kind of relax on the floor like here, it's very easy for Dean to move around, he can lift me, he can bridge me. And one of the natural things that, um, or one of the, the kind of the issues with a traditional Kezugatami position, or Kazuri Kezugatami, is that my chest is up. So if Dean pushes on my chest here, like I've got a, have something behind me to stop that happening. And that's gonna be this leg here. So, spin sideways again. So when I'm here, I'm using my toes on the ground. So if Dean tries to push in towards me, I've got a, like a block behind me, okay? The other kind of then weak-ish point that we have is going forwards over in this direction here. We kind of talked about this a little bit. If Dean starts to bring me, yeah, lift his hips that way, there's no post out there. And that's what this leg is doing. Okay, so I've got toes and I'm trying to keep toes here. Okay, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I feel as heavy as possible on Dean. The way that I do that is by taking my butt up off the ground. So here I'm kind of resting, like Dean's relatively happy, he's not too uncomfortable. When I sink my weight up on top of it, so I'm just engaging and dropping this through. Now I become heavy to Dean. The other thing that I'll do is I'll make sure when I'm here, I use our, 
ribs kind of driving up into our ribs and I get into this position and I'm pulling everything in. So I'm gripping this arm, blocking it in, gripping the other shoulder, blocking it in. And now I feel heavy on top of Dean. If Dean tries to move me around here, it's very difficult. I can ride out this movement, okay, and stay attached to him. With my head, I wanna try to keep it relatively low down. Like I'm not sitting my chest up. I need to be bending forwards in towards it. If my head goes up, I encounter that same problem. He can just push on my face pretty easily and start sending me backwards. I wanna make it hard for him, so I'm down in this position. So I'm engaging into the ribs, controlling the shoulders, controlling the elbows, making sure they don't let go. Here, active toes and weight resting on Dean. A good kind of check is if Dean starts to spin, spin in a circle for me, I should be able to kind of like spin with him. Okay, that means that I'm staying in the position. If I, if, I, if I sit down on the ground and Dean starts to spin, yeah, then I lose all of that control, okay? So just by setting my weight heavy on him now, it's hard. Okay, so this is a good drill to kind of start with. Your partner can kind of push and pull you, move me around a little bit. Yeah, and I'm just trying to stay riding, stay in exactly the same place, make like the little adjustments, and he can kind of do whatever he likes. Okay, so that's our basic position, like our kind of some of the controls that I look to use and how I readjust from the scarf hold back towards uh, 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 the Kazuri Kezigatami. And I do that every single time. Very rarely do I stay in the scarf hold because I know that I have a very weak route to my back and uh, uh, that, that bridging and rolling problem. I want to get that far side underhook, which is so crucial in Jiu Jitsu for positional control. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to hear more from me, then the easiest thing to do is download my free ebook, which is called Performance Drilling. It covers how I went from not winning a major competition to a three-time world champion um, and a ton of other information as well. I regularly send out more emails, videos, uh, useful tips, tricks, all kinds of different stuff that will help improve your grappling. The way you can access it is go to escapologybjj.com forward slash performance drilling. I hope to see you on the other side.